how did I get over that fence of burnout so that I can create once more? Hustling is also giving yourself rest. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. You're in The Designer Life with Ika. It's been a long time since I really talked about a certain topic because for the past few vlogs, it's either my reaction videos or I just upload some stuff. <laughs> it's busy kasi talaga and I'll be honest with you guys, the past few days, weeks, I had a burnout, I had a creative vlog, whatever you call it, but I just shut down. My brain just shut down. Creativity, passion, energy, wala. As in. Siguro one thing na medyo nagkamali ako is I said yes to all the opportunities na nag-open sa akin. Pero syempre, isang katawalan lang tayo guys. And tip ko sa inyo, syempre, you have to decide properly, decide well, which you should take, which you shouldn't take. I was really happy and overwhelmed with the opportunities that came but I also got pressured so much to do well in every single aspect. Uh, you really need balance in life. You need to have your personal time, you need your work time, you need your family time, your prayer time. No matter how passionate you are, gano mo ka mahal yung ginagawa mo. If you are in an environment where it's already toxic, pressured, your body is also not functioning well, then you're gonna shut down you're not going to be as motivated again. Let's talk about athletes. Sila sobrang mahal nila yung sport nila. But once pressure comes in, some athletes get into depression, into burnout. They stop what they're doing. At one point, they need to slow down a bit. So it's the same for everybody. For creatives also, it's the same way. Creativity won't always be there. We get to burn out when we don't listen to our body, to our mind, to our hearts. And we just keep on moving and we ignore what we feel. So how do you get over creative burnout? You can't create anything else. Because for me, there was a point where I really don't want to edit anything, create anything. I don't even want to do vlogs. And it's very negative. My mind is so clouded. How did I get over that fence of burnout so that I can create once more? I've got five tips for you guys. And let's go with the first one. Reward with rest. Sometimes we think that resting or rewarding ourselves is a waste of money, a waste of time, a waste of energy. Guys, hindi no, as in, you have to celebrate your wins and you also have to give yourself rest when you're when you're done with a project. Like the truth is when you're burnt out, when you keep on hustling, tapos nag shut down ka. Mas lalo na waste yung time mo, yung effort mo. Nagkasakit ka, kailangan mong gumastos. Hindi mo magawa yung kailangan mo. Sayang yung time. Hustling is not working 24-7, guys. Hustling is also giving yourself rest. So that the next day, you can work better and you have the energy to reach your goal. At dahil dyan, share ko yung deserve ko to moment. So I said, I went into a breakdown, I went into, I feel like I, I don't want to design anymore. Sabi ko, deserve ko to with my family. We went to a vacation, a short vacation, three days lang siya guys. Kahit ganyan lang, three days, pumunta kami sa Batangas. It was a form of celebration for my birthday, September birth month, also the month of my parents' wedding anniversary, and lahat kami gusto namin ng rest. We deserve rest. We haven't had any travels during the pandemic, so two years. I'm gonna flash some pictures and I really just took time to rest and recharge, chill, have me time, have family time. It doesn't have to be grand. You don't have to go to the beach, go to the resort. Sometimes it just means that reward yourself, go get some food, buy something on Lazada, kung mahili ka mag online shopping. I don't know, uh, what else? Just treat yourself. That's basically it. And also get some sleep, guys. That's really important. Reward yourself with rest. A day of rest. Hindi siya saya. It's going to be the best gift you're gonna give to yourself. I swear, promise. Second tip is engage in positive content. So sabi ko kanina, medyo clouded yung mind ko with negativity. Ayaw mo nagmawa ng kahit ano, pati yung mga tao. Ayaw mo na silang kausapit. Parang galit ka sa mundo. The mind is very powerful, your words are powerful, so whatever you think of, whatever you say, that's what you're going to feel. Pati yung newsfeed mo sa Facebook, sa IG, kung negativity yung binibigay na kausap mo, na pinapanood mo, that's what you're gonna feel. What you feel right now reflects your feed. Find something bright, happy, fun that will make 
your life a little bit, you know, colorful. <laughs> well, it's it's also a choice. It's a hard choice, but we have to choose positivity over negativity. Third one is share your burden. So if you don't feel right, tell it to someone you're comfortable with. Because mas gagaan talaga siya. You're going to recover quickly, faster when you tell it to other people. And I personally sat down with my family to talk about what I feel that time. At that time, there was really no solution. But all I wanted was to share what I feel and basta pag-usapan nyo lang. Ilabas mo lang. Huwag tatang kimkimin, mas lalo siyang it's gonna pile up here and it's gonna be worse. So just open up. Next one, fourth one is energize with nature. Go outside. We need the sun, you know? Walk your dog, walk your cat, um, do gardening, or kahit labas ka lang sa gate, tapos listen to music, look at the trees, look at the sky, just get some fresh air. It just, I don't know, feel the breeze, slow down, chill, and feel nature. When we had our vacation, it was very nature-y. <laughs> nature-y? Mapuno dun. Form kasi yun eh. If you meditate, if you just feel that energy, of stillness, it, it will just boost you. And while you're in the sun, go bake a sweat. It will just release some hormones. I don't know, basta, I'm not medical, but it does, it really helps with, you know, some healing in your body. And the circulation of your oxygen and of, the, of your blood, it helps out if you move, if you're under the sun. Another medical thing, honestly, you can feel fatigue and burnout when you're just sitting down on your computer and working so my, my scientific and medical explanation for that but i'm not going into detail if you think you're tired after work sitting down just the whole day it means your body needs some movement some circulation so um some sunlight um fresh air so again energize with nature good thing it's for free and the last one is team up with creatives of course, we are creative people of the world. <laughs> well, and you gotta surround yourself with the people you want to be, you want to collaborate with, and you want to achieve the same goal. Ask help from colleagues, people you know in the same field. If you feel like work is too much, delegate some tasks. Work with partners. Find people you can collaborate with. Wag mo akinin lahat ng opportunities. Wag mo akinin lahat ng workload. So let's be humble enough to ask help from other people and say that we can't do this alone. So after that, after my burnout season, <laughs> burnout season, I asked help, I messaged some friends, designers, creatives from the same industry. I, I need partners who could help me with the project kasi ang dami na talagang work. Maybe we could collaborate with this and in the future, if my projects, we can also work on it. By doing this, you simplify your problem. You really just gotta delegate and network with people. Aside from that, I went to a seminar called Lika Summit. Grabe ang, ang gagali ng speakers. So many creative minds working there, uh, meeting them also, and just talking about passion, purpose. My thing moment na, man, this is why I started creating stuff. That fire went back, it's burning once again. In case you forget your core, Find someone with the same goal. Find someone in the same field. They're going to let you remember why you start. You know, I got to empower myself again because I heard stories. I heard uh, messages from successful, positive, and enthusiastic designers, creators. That's my last tip. And yun yung natutunan ko for um, my burnout season. Again, what I wanted to do, I'm gonna read it. Reward with the rest. Engage in positive content. Share your burden, energize with nature, and team up with creatives. Basically, it's a reset. When you're shut down, when you're burnt out, when everything's black out, you gotta reset. You gotta reboot. Reset your body. That's rewarding you with the rest. Reset your mind. Engage in positive content. You gotta feed yourself with positivity. You know, escape. Escape that. Make a decision to uh, stop negativity and escape that negativity. Reset your heart. Share your burden, you know? Whatever's in here, gotta share it. Gotta tell someone. It's gonna lighten up your heart. It's gonna lighten up what you feel. Reset your soul, energize with nature. During that time, I also had a chance to pray in the morning for a longer time, which I didn't do. And so I was energized and um, I had my faith intact once again. 
So you might want to do that every morning and every night. Start the day with a prayer and the day with a prayer. And lastly, reset your passion. Team up with creatives. Mamamatay talaga yung fire pag mag-isa ka lang. So you gotta keep that fire burning by teaming up with creatives. And that's it guys. So reset. It's a whole reset of the body, mind, soul, everything. Honestly, I don't really have a clear answer yet to what I want after that um, burnout. But again, I'm I'm working. I'm positive. My fire is back. That's that's what we want to keep moving forward. Keep that passion. To keep that purpose in mind, in heart, and in action. That's all for now, guys. If you have your own stories, don't forget to comment them down below and I'm going to be happy to read them and to reply to them. If you want to see more of this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. This has been Ika. See you guys in my next vlog. Bye!